Hi, this is Reasons Are Several, a weekly show dripping with sexual tension. Oh, this is episode boy. 252. My name is Matt. With me is Neil. What's up, Neil? Uh, not much. Dripping. Dripping. With the tension of sex. I didn't have anything good this week, so that's oh, the best I could do. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> solid. I thought maybe something was going on behind the scenes before we started recording. No, no, no. No. You can only see so much of me, so you never know. But that's right. What are you, what are you doing on Sunday, Neil? I have huge plans, Matador. Oh, in fact, I'm hoping maybe you could make it. I, think I am so. going to be part of a one and three quarter year anniversary <laughs> podcast show live on the YouTubes that's called Reasons Are Several. Okay. Where do you get the one and three quarters from? That's how long we've been doing it. Mm-mm. That's no. not true. You've been doing it longer than that, even. All right. So six and four months. Five years. Five years. That's what I was going to say next. In fact, what's today's date? Today is the 26th. I think our, I think we recorded yes. our first episode on the 21st of February, so we technically passed the five year, but I oh. believe it didn't come out until like the 28th or something like that. So it's it, it lines up pretty nicely. But that is going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, celebrating our fifth anniversary. We're going to be live on uh, YouTube.com slash Halos and Heathens. Mm-hmm. Chat room will be open so people can partake. That's right. See us and in real time. Annalise will be monitoring that chat room. Uh, mm-hmm. She'll be joining us as kind of the third mic slash producer. And uh, we'll be taking on all comers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dripping with sexual <laughs> tension. <laughs> so bring your questions, your comments, whatever. If you can't make the show or you just want to put something, uh, send something to us in advance to make sure it gets included on the show, you can DM us at Reasons Are on Twitter or at Angels Freak 7, or you can email us at Reasons Are Several at gmail.com. Definitely send something in in advance if you want to make sure it makes the show, just because then I'll, I'll put it on the list and we'll, we'll right. kind of cover those throughout the show. It'll be so, somewhat of a normal show. Uh, just with mixed in, you know, questions and comments and things like that. But whatever you got to say to us, this is a, this, is a, this is your opportunity. Good time. Yeah, yeah it, it'll be kind of neat because it'll be a regular show once you release it as the actual just regular podcast. But people mm-hmm. will, will get a glimpse of like behind the scenes because we do sometimes need to stop and do something or there's crazy noises or dog barking. So it's kind of neat that even even if you're there on YouTube, you may still want to listen to the show later just to see what actually made the show and what didn't. True, and we'll do like you guys do on your show, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. We'll do a, a little pre-show and post-show uh, right. on YouTube as well that you would not get if you just listened to the episode. So go, definitely go check that out again, Sunday, March 3rd, 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, the shit is going to be, as the kids say, lighted, right? Oh, like, <laughs> that's Straight right. flames. Super, super Brit. <laughs> super Britty bright. Fire emoticons everywhere. That's, <laughs> that's right. Also for people, should you miss the live show, it will still be up on YouTube for years to come so you can always go back if you wanted to watch it and go good oh point. what are these two goofballs doing that's a good point i always forget about that 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 yeah. lingers out there forever it's gotta let it linger well let's let's speaking of lingering i don't know yep. why let's go okay. to the yelp desk freaking yelp it up yelp desk ah! so this weekend uh we met up with some friends of ours who our kids all went to daycare and preschool together and so we got together with them, and we decided to go to this place that's called Big Owls, mm. mm-hmm. which is a huge place that has a bunch of bowling lanes and an arcade and a bar, et cetera. They, they serve food. It's a huge place. It looks like a ski lodge. And so I went and checked them out on Yelp. I got a lot of one-star reviews here. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't go beyond the first one because it was good enough for me, but you, there are you, quite a lot of one-star reviews. They nailed it. They nailed their one-star. I think so. Well, nice. we'll see. So this is from Justin B. from Hillsboro, Oregon. Here's what he said. Now, I'm going to read this the way he wrote it, which is one gigantic sentence. Oh, nice. So we can go back. Yes. I've read. We'll have to dissect it. Took a friend there on Monday. Hardly anybody was there. Buddy, B-U-D-D-Y. Anybody was there. No No friends. No. So we decided to do bowling on the main lanes, and the waiter was hitting on my friend making comments about her butt, which I think is highly unprofessional. And then I got a Jaeger bomb that was mixed, and I asked if I could have the next one not mixed. He gave me attitude. Then when when my friend got a drink, he came back and made another disgusting comment towards her, but her shaking her butt, never going back there again, period. <laughs> okay. Due to disgusting waiters, made her feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the period didn't even go in the right place. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess in a weird way, but yeah, because I guess you could say do two disgusting waiters, comma. Right. Do you think that is, it, is he's doing it on his phone? Is he just so jazzed up that he just can't even bother to deal with punctuation? Or is he 
is he just not uh, maybe the brightest bulb on the porch? Now, I'm going to ask you this <laughs> because I am curious. Because that's what you do. That's right. Do the kids need his days? Is the punctuation not part of texting? Like, I don't know. I know for for me, when I started texting, obviously it was later in my life. And punctuation, I found it. I find it somewhat important. I mean, I'm not crazy, but I think you've noticed that even when I try to do quotes, I try to do the punctuation correctly. So I just don't know. Our kids these days, they just rattle it off and don't give a. I don't know that you food. would just say kids. I think everybody in text, not everybody, but a lot of people in text, it's so informal and it's it's a lot of shorthand stuff. So people just don't really care about that. I mean, but I, I mean, I just think, periods and commas. I'm not talking about you know, acronyms and shit. I, all of that. So I, I don't, you know, LOL, but it's kind of like or because I'm just wondering if it's somebody on their phone that's just so used to not doing it that that's what. Well, I think you got a couple things going on. One is the autocorrect is a bit dodgy on phones. Mm -hmm. Uh, Two, the last thing you want to do is have to go back and edit. So when you're typing it, if it comes out and you're like, ah, there's no capital at the beginning of that sentence or whatever, you're like, ah, whatever. Right. So I I think people just don't give a shit. But like my dad, my beloved dad, Mm -hmm. you know, I told you, I think I've told you this. He he will text me sometimes like when he's going to come over and watch the kids or something. I'll get a text that just says OMW. I'm like, dude. How old are you? <laughs> that drives, that you know what drives me totally crazy on text, and I don't know why, is just when people respond K. Yeah, just the letter always, K. Oh, yeah, tough. It, so yeah, oh, it drives me up a freaking. Yeah. My mom does it all the time. Well, there's a lot of those that are like that, where it's mom, like uh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving work now. I'll be I'll be at your place in a half hour to see you. K. I'm like <laughs> fuck that. I just keep driving. I just go right by and come home. It's like people putting you know gr eight. Hmm. It's really just just finish the word. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. on, God! I guess I introduced this show incorrectly. It should be the grumpy old man. I know. Well, <laughs> what was we were in we were in Reno, and I was reading something. I don't know if I was looking for the time for something to be open, but it had a comment section, and this person was commenting, and they were good comments about like, oh, well, you want to go there after this time, not this. But it was all it was all. I, how, I know it's got a word. I don't know what it is, but like none of the words were actually spelled out. It was either the letter and a number or instead of um, you want to be there at two, it would be like the letter U, oh then God. W-N-T, yeah. the number two, the letter B. Was it Prince who was texting you? <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> hey, it was a little red Corvette. Or maybe but it was uh, Van Halen. It could right. Oh, you eight one two. Oh, you eight one two. I remember uh, the first time I saw that album. I told you that right that I read it and I go, yeah, I got the album. Oh, you eight twelve. My brother's like, <laughs> dude, you missed it. Yeah, I'm like okay. Oh, well, I had I went to uh, no, it was I think it was it was either high school or right around graduation, where uh, a girl's uh, that I went to school with her parents bought her a car and it got her an Xrati. Mm. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> what? She's like, yeah, I have an Xrati, and I'm like, no idea what that is. And then as we were walking by her car, I'm like. Oh, you have an XR4 Ti. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and and this yeah. that's this was one of those girls uh, that, like, you see in a movie, and you're like, no one acts that way. No one's that way. Oh, she, she was, was mm. exactly that way. Yeah. Ugh. Well, this guy, just to recap, went to Big Al's, which I mean, it's a place people go to drink, but it's really more of a kids' place. Sure. Um, I mean, I guess at night it's more of an adult place, but you know, during the day it's. It's more of a kid's place. And he had no buddies there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're bowling and he's he's getting Jaeger bombs. And then he's ta- he's complaining about the person being unprofessional. I, it's fine. It's so fine. so do we know this is a guy? What's this person's name? Justin B. It's Justin. Okay, yeah, because when he said, my, and my friend. Yeah, it's, he's with a, a gal. So was he in the friend zone and he's just bummed about that? That could be part of it. And the and I'm not I mean I don't want to if the guy was being inappropriate that's not cool but Or maybe, maybe it's his girlfriend and he just calls her his friend. Lady friend. Maybe she read that review and was like, "Whoa, I'm just your friend now?" Oh, the, Is that yeah, what's things, going on, Justin? Things ended badly and then they Justin. got in a huge fight about it. Yeah, he's he's having Jaeger bombs now. <laughs> Too bad he doesn't <laughs> have any buddies. The blues away. He's got no buddies to drink with. Chase the blues away, Jaeger. By the way, I clicked on his profile really quickly. Yeah, he had three other one star reviews, nothing else. So he's this guy's got a little anger. Oh, he's a hater. All written on the same day. He wrote four one star reviews on one day. Does it say, <laughs> does it say what the other places are? Yeah, it was uh, Best Buy, Office Depot, and GameStop. 
just shitting on all of them. Wow. I hope he felt better after that. Like maybe it was a cathartic experience for maybe, him. To well, just his, get it all out there. so I guess what happened was the, his lady friend dumped him, mm-hmm. and then he had to go, you know, buy a video game, get a new screen, and uh, who knows what it, and a chair, I guess, from Office Depot, and <laughs> just went terribly for him. He was pissed. Anyway, by the way, real quick side note, I totally yeah. forgot to say you went to Reno. Did you have anything exciting to share from your Reno adventures? Um, I no, I can share a couple quick things. Sure. Um, if you want. Yes. All right. That's why we're here, Neil, to, to do hear it all about your life. <laughs> do you want, if you'd like to, we go now? ahead. I mean, I can wait. We can stop till we're recording. I mean, whenever you want. I didn't know if this was a personal thing. <laughs> yeah, or... <laughs> You're not recording. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we'll go to the tech desk next, but you okay. tell, tell me about your Reno trip real quick. Uh, it was it was good. We came back early. We were actually supposed to stay through. We were supposed to come back on Tuesday, but there's a big storm that's hitting our area. I think you guys are getting hit with some weather right now, too. Yes. And so we were concerned that Highway 80 would be closed today, which is Tuesday, a little behind the, you know, peek behind the curtain when we're recording. Mm -hmm. Um, So we came home Monday instead, and it really bummed me out. I didn't know you were supposed to stay that long. Yeah, it was uh, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Damn, okay. Yeah, and it bummed me out because it threw the... We decided Sunday... We're like looking at the weather, and it, good thing we did because they actually closed eighty this morning. Mm. Um, it's open now, so we could have got through, but it's taken for freaking ever to get yeah. from Reno back to Northern California. So we were looking at the weather, and our concern was if we got stuck, we would have had to stay now until Wednesday. And not that the, I mean, the hotels in Reno during the week are super cheap, but the dog boarding cost freaking a bunch a of money, mint. and we yeah. don't want to take an extra day off, plus spend the money of gambling and food and all of that up there because I'm cheap. Yeah, but if you're if you're if you're spending extra days in a gambling haven, yeah, what do you, what do you think you're gonna do? Yeah, without gambling, it would the, the extra day would have been easily the two hundred and twenty bucks without mm-hmm. any gambling or any right. any having fun whatsoever as far right. as like paying. So so that could easily be five hundred by the end of it. Easily. So yeah. we we decided well let's just head back and we'll still take uh, Tuesday off you know and watch it rain. So so it was good. We didn't we didn't win any money this time. We lost a little bit, but not terrible. But so this is why you're off today because you had the day planned. I was off supposed anyway. to be off. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was I was uh, yeah. So but it was it really bummed me out. Well, I'm sorry. That's you're right. going I'm, back. I'm there having in a, a, about I'm ha- three or four months. Yeah, in uh, in June, I'm having a little bit of a uh, concussion, head anxiety laden last four days. So as the days go on with my crazy anxiety, I get more and more sad about it. And okay. so when anything happens that makes me sad, I'm just like, oh, well, fucking everything sucks. Well, it's, are you drinking? Yeah, I am now. Good, because that's a depressant, so that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, but I, I, didn't, I didn't all day, and I didn't feel any better, so I figured I might as well start. <laughs> but overall, it was good. We saw the, uh, the people that we know, of course, at the bar, because, you know, that's what we do. Right. It was a good time. We had fun. It was, a, it was a good trip. I'm glad you had fun. I'm sorry you had to come back early. Well, that's all right. At least we made it back. One more quick question. Do you know what's sure. in 227 days? 227 days. Huh? Your your trip to Jamaica? No, the duck man. Game. What? Yeah, it's a duck game. <laughs> uh, you have it that planned out? Wow. Oh, dude, I have a I have an app that tells me everything that's going on. So I've got all your Re- countdowns. Reno in 109, Jamaica in 192, Oregon in 227, Reno in 302, and Jamaica in 583. You have another Reno planned as well. To, uh, well, the Christmas trip, the God, the you yearly guys Christmas trip. Are amazing with your planning. I I'm insane. You lock shit in early. Oh, I'm I'm insane. Ugh, wow. When I was anyway. giving the when I was giving the list to my boss's boss because of all the craziness at work and everything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm one of the one of those insane people that plan stuff way in advance. And it, all I got back from was, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, the benefit of doing that is that nobody can uh, preempt. Like you, you, you get your dates on early, so nobody mm-hmm. can book anything. So you're that mm-hmm. guy. Where somebody like is like, oh, I you know I got this trip coming up in three months. Nobody else, but ah, oh, fucking Neil. Oh, it happens all the time. People, <laughs> somebody, I, I can guarantee you that uh, that weird October date will be somebody will go like, oh, yeah, we were going to take, and they'll go and look, and they're like, what, seriously? And they and it shows the date that I put in for it. Yeah. So they're like, freaking February? Seriously? Yeah. 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 You should start doing stuff for 2020 right now. I do. Jamaica 2020, 583 yeah. days away. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the best part, too, is it's not just like, oh, so you had this on the calendar, but is it negotiable? You're like, oh, no, I've already paid for it. Oh, yeah, no, the deposit's been paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's go to the tech desk. Thanks for calling the tech desk. 
I'm definitely a human being. How can I help you? Nope. So we almost covered this last week, but it came in kind of late and we ran out of time. I think uh, Ninja had recommended this article to you and then mm -hmm. a, a number of other people did as well. And it's actually an article from early January. So somehow we missed it, but. But we have our fans to fall back on. Right. Our fans. <laughs> Maybe and, and I think this is relevant every day it gets more and more relevant. So really yes. just waiting just made it more important. Sex robots could be hijacked by hackers and used to cause harm or even kill people, a cybersecurity expert has warned. Oh artificial intelligence researchers and Matt from the award winning podcast Reasons Are Several have consistently warned of the security risk posed by internet connected robots, with hundreds recently calling on governments to ban weaponized robots you listening boston dynamics weaponized that's going to be a problem robots, though huh well i think this is the issue i don't think it's all ai and robots i think because the security is so poor for sex bots that they can be taken over i think boston dynamics has got their shit together no oh they don't people can <laughs> hack all that shit well yes you're right in the sense that uh that you know as we talked about it well, I think that was last week about, you know, how hackable. Well, we talk about it every week. Yeah. How <laughs> hackable, if that's your, your word you want to use. The, uh, the dildos are and all that right. other stuff. Yeah, all that stuff is, you know, they don't even have a privacy policy, Neil. No. <laughs> that's no. my favorite quote of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yes, so that's an issue. But even with stuff that's, you know, where they think they got it on lock, that shit could still be hacked. Well, nothing's on true lock. I would just imagine that. It's much more secure. The, the, yeah, I would hope that Boston Dynamics is much more secure than, you know, uh, Jill and Linda's freaking Pleasure Palace. Right. Or what was the yeah. one we had? The Vibratissimo. What was that called? That's right. Yeah. The, <laughs> it was the Vibratissimo <laughs> Panty Buster. Yeah. <laughs> the Panty Buster. Oh, dear. It's so gross. Anyway, the latest warning comes from a cybersecurity expert who made the prophecy to several UK newspapers. Quote, hackers can hack into a robot or a robotic device and have full control of the connections, arms, legs, and other attached tools, like in some cases, knives or welding devices. <laughs> welding devices. <laughs> so not only are you going to be murdered by a robot, it's going to fucking hurt. It's going to take a long oh, yeah. time. <laughs> no, we're they're going. I mean, they're going to go freaking. I was going to go with the the uh, the Turkey Turkish consulate, Saudi right. Arabian. Yeah. Yeah. Total torturous. It's bone death. saw. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not not just a gun that puts you bullet in your head. No. Uh, often, quote, often these robots can be upward of 200 pounds and very strong. Once a robot is hacked, the hacker has full control and can issue instructions to the robot. They could absolutely be used to perform physical actions for an advantageous scenario or to cause damage. You know, it's fine. Nothing's going to go wrong, Neil. No. Everything's going to be fine. What robots, was it in Robo robots Robocop? Put your weapon down? Put the weapon down? Is that yeah. What, yeah. yeah. Hey, robot, robots are not going to harm humans. No, they no, they will. No, it's humans not going to happen. Harm. Humans like to harm humans. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, and that's the problem. How many people do you? How much do you like? Do you think it's going to get to the point where there's going to be like a glitch, and then people are going to start getting fucked to death? Oh, for like sure. The robot just didn't stop. You just yes. you get your O ring just blown out. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> oh, going in for reconstructive god. O ring surgery. <laughs> You're like, oh man. No, but I mean, there will be accidents. There will always be accidents. Oh sure. Researchers have already discovered security flaws with Bluetooth-enabled sex toys, which hackers could control from remote locations. One such example of a vulnerable butt plug was revealed last year. That would be the Hush butt plug, which I believe we mentioned last week. Mm -hmm. Keep it, it down now. Voices carry. Hush, <laughs> hush. <laughs> Made by Till Tuesday. Mm -hmm. In November, experts wrote a commentary for the scientific journal Nature that outlined a scenario which rogue... Artificial intelligence hijacked a brain-computer interface. In such a, a in such a situation, a person's thoughts, decisions, and emotions could be taken over by AI and manipulated against the person's will. <laughs> that's no, now that freaks me out. I mean, because uh, yeah, of any, of any of those things, that should be the one that's the most right. concerning. Yeah, because the, I mean, the the butt plug thing, it's kind of like someone gets a hold of it, you just take it out or you shut it off. I mean, it's not like they can say, okay, now make it all of a sudden turn into like a carrot peeler and it's still up there. And you're like, no, oh, do you think hurts. you have it like on the, like on the table and you're like smashing with a hammer to get the thing to turn off? Cause it just won't stop. Just drop it in the toilet. Just right out your butt right into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this is a bigger concern. Manipulating your will. A hypothetical example of how such a scenario might play out. According to the authors of the piece would be if a paralyzed man, using a brain-computer interface, took a dislike to someone mm 
Mm -hmm. That could be misinterpreted as a command to harm that person, even if no direct order is given. So basically, like Stephen Hawking, rest in peace, he had like a personal robot that just went on like a fucking killing spree because somebody pissed him off. Right. Or, <laughs> or not even saying, let's say, now the person can make the robot do that and then go, I'm paralyzed. I didn't do anything. Right. Sorry. Sue the company. Yeah, but the, and that's them doing it with their desire. Like, right, I'm, if, I want that robot right. to kill that. Well, this, is or, just a, this is a case of like, hey, you know what? That, that guy cut me off in traffic. And the, the robot goes, you know what? You're right. I'm going to fucking this kill that guy This is where I was going to go. Let me follow me with this, Matt. Okay. You have a robot that knows how to weld. And it turns your Tesla into like a tank. And then you're in the tank Tesla, also known as the TT, not to be confused yeah. with the Audi because we don't want to copyright infringement and stuff. Sure. But right. you're driving and somebody cuts you off and then and you're, you, unfortunately, you're paralyzed because it makes me feel better to think that that's who's in the Tesla. And that's like that fucking guy. And the car's like, yeah, that fucking guy. And just freaking rams that little Ford Fiesta into the, to a uh, uh, I, you know what? There's a snowplow while this okay. is going on that's also AI-driven. Right. That now the Tesla talks to the snowplow and says this little fucking Fiesta. I don't know why I'd have a Fiesta in the snow. I, you, you do. Really? Yeah, no. I'm going for it. <laughs> and and just then the freaking snowplow just go bam, and, you know, little Fiestas everywhere. And then the freaking Tesla and the snowplow are high-fiving. The welder back at work is like, you can have any beer you want as long as it's Corona, bro. <laughs> you know? That's how far it plays out. I, I'm glad you went all the way down that road. But I'm it's just true. Saying, yeah. Road rage is a perfect example of a place where this could be a problem. Like right. if you got your, you know, trusty robot with you in the car, that's your that's a fucking war starting. And right I'm there. susceptible to road rage. I don't, I don't. I know we've driven a couple times, but I'm sure I freaked you out by the way that I'm. I'm so aggressive. So I'm afraid <laughs> what's going to happen is this is will happen to me is my Tesla will take over and start killing people. I don't think I noticed that you were driving like a grandma like you say you do when you I, picked me up from the airport and such. But you claim that you are a real passive driver. I am very uh, sometimes passive Some, or defensive. Both. No, but I, I, think, I don't mind. I, like I don't get upset. People cut me off and I don't get mad. Hmm, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I did the other day. I was going to uh, pick up my kids from school. So uh, I go up this street that's just, you know, connected to our little cul-de-sac. You go up the street, you get to the end, and then you turn on the street that's, I think it's 40, yeah, 40 mile an hour street. So I'm going to turn left. There's a person coming the other way from where my kid's school is, coming down the road. And they're a good, I don't know, quarter of a mile away. So I make a left turn onto the street. They are going 64 in a 40 just fucking laid the horn on as i made my turn now my car sucks at uh, defrost so i had the the left window <laughs> rolled down so i could see better so of course with the window already rolled down what i scream fuck you like just that's awesome <laughs> luckily no kids were present <laughs> you sure they weren't honking because of the car maybe but yeah. i'm like god damn but you it, couldn't man. see you're, what car they were in if you're going 25 miles over the speed limit and by the way, it wasn't even fucking close. You don't need to honk at me. No. So eat a dick. Sorry. I'm I'm one of those that like if uh if you're traveling at a fast rate of speed coming up behind me in a piece of garbage car, I will not get out of your way. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna slow down, but I'm just if I'm not in the fast lane, I'm just maintaining right. my speed. You come up flying behind me in a sports car, I'm giving you the way to go. Because <laughs> you like, bought that car. For yeah, that that's the whole point. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Again, this is a, like on the highway, not in a residential area. I wanted, I right. used to keep, uh, when I used to live in Petaluma, I used to keep these soft, you've seen them, like the soft little kid bouncy balls. Mm -hmm. And so when cars would fly up the street, I'd just throw one out of the garage. <laughs> so it just bounce into the street. <laughs> awesome. Would uh -huh. they freak out? Would they oh, jam yeah. their brakes up? Oh, big time. Big oh, sorry time. about that. <laughs> no, 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 because then they'd want to get away because they're like, oh, shit, there could have been a kid. So no one yeah. ever stopped to, like, make sure everything was okay. No they one just ever moved on. They're yeah. like, shit, I might have like, killed a kid. I'm going to keep going. Keep yeah. going. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Do you think this could also go to, like... I was just thinking this, this plays into the bully situation I, is what I was thinking. Yeah. I was also thinking it could go the other way to where if you have these thoughts, like, let's say you have something hooked up in your car or whatever, and you were driving and the thing... you. This person is flying up behind you at 20 miles over the speed limit, and you're like, well, fuck you. And you start to get angry, and the thing's like, Matt, relax. Bro, 
<laughs> Chill, bro. No big Chill deal. Out, bro. But will it start to change our personality so we all almost are on the same exact even keel of we don't get mad anymore because we're being checked by our freaking cars or computers or th- you open the refrigerator to get something to eat and it's like, listen, before you open me, step on a scale. No, you Just fucking that turn person. that thing off in two seconds. Fuck you, I'm having some chocolate or whatever. But, but what if it's hooked up to your, uh, your health insurance plan and your health insurance is cheaper or your life insurance is cheaper? I guess I'm going to get you... some other health insurance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, right now, right now, you'd have something going, man. You don't need more health insurance. You just need to be healthier. Right. Matt, why why are you grabbing those Thin Mints? Yeah. Because I bought some Girl Scout cookies, right? I'm going to have a few Thin Mints. Did you buy some? I got a couple boxes from the gal. It's a uh, gal lives in the street. The gal lives in the street? The gal who lives up the street. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, she lives lady. in the street. Uh, did you hear about that She's guy who troll. bought uh, like $400 worth of? No. Four, no, or $584 worth of Girl Scout cookies? No. I think it was in Ohio. There were two little girls. It was 33 degrees or something outside. Two little girls were oh, selling. Oh, so he just fucking. And so he went and he bought $40 worth of cookies. Go inside. And walks away. And then he comes back and he's like, pack it all up. I'm taking them all. Yeah, go inside. Like, it's cold. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. No, that's smart. Yeah, I don't know. They're they're delicious. I I am very simple. When it, I'm a, you know me, I'm a simple man. And when it comes to Girl Scout cookies, I I'm perfectly happy to just eat thin mints. Yeah, I'm a. Is it Samoa? Yes, you heard yeah. about the. They were talking about it on the two on three pod the the gal that put the picture of Jason Momoa. Nice on the Samoa. On the Samoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, of I think those. she got in a little trouble for that one. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'm I'm on another crazy uh, eating spree. I just started. Oh, so. boy. Like, wait, you're yeah. eating more, or you're you're doing that thing where you cut out like 95 percent of the world's food? Uh, a little bit of both. Hmm. Yeah. So you're you're limiting the amount of things you eat. Hey, you're hey, eating the shit I want to see a close game that's a blowout, bro. You're talking to the guy <laughs> that knows so how to confusing. put words together really well. So confusing. <laughs> I'm good at the talking, man. I have a new segment, maybe. Okay. For us. All right, let's hear it. I'm calling this segment, I'm sorry, I read it. Pretty much. This was prompted by Ty from the Two on Three podcast, mm-hmm. who uh, passed this along, passed this link along. I think he felt like <laughs> like maybe we were, our show is more suitable for this material. Nice. <laughs> well, it's like when Ninja send us, sends us stuff, and she's not sending us things like, hey, you know, here's a here was a study done on, you know, ancient Egyptian right. uh, philosophy versus uh Roman philosophy, you know, nothing like that. It's like, oh, found this dildos. thing about dildos. Neil. Yeah. <laughs> Word association. Dildos, yeah. Neil. Yeah, she she sent me something I got to look at, look at that was like uh, old-timey phrases for sex. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Anyway, so this is certainly not safe for work. So <laughs> put in your, on your headphones your earbuds. Okay. This is from Reddit. Reddit? Reddit. <laughs> It's called what's your so this this came from this this person answers this question and then it it just deviates into this whole thread. Okay. But the question that was posed was what's your secret that could literally ruin your life if it came out? Oh, okay. So, so you're going to think the first part of this is a bit sad and morbid, but just wait for the money line, okay? Yeah. So this is from 6 years ago. The username has since been deleted. 6 years ago. All right. Cousin died when we were both 17. There was a reception at his house just after the funeral. I went into his room and stole all the money that was there, took some other valuables that his parents wouldn't realize were gone. No one knows what I di- no one knows that I did it. They just assumed he didn't have any money in his room, only loose change. I don't regret it, but I will never admit I did it. Also my cum box. What? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say? Also my cum box. That was the last sentence. <laughs> my cum box. <laughs> so someone named Evil Quickly and rightfully asks, uh, elaborate on your cum box, please. <laughs> People are already over the oh, yeah. immoral fact. Oh, yeah, that, like, that's fine. Yeah. This cum box thing, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, it's exactly, this is their response. Well, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a shoe box, or at least once was. And whenever I masturbate, I come into it. What? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so gross. How long so do you gross. keep your shoes in the box, by the way, Neil? Because you like to not touch your new shoes for a long right. time. This might come as a shock to you, um, but a while ago, I, I went uh, shopping at an outlet store and bought, I don't know, like four or five new pair of Nikes. Haven't touched them. No. Still in the box. 
<laughs> Still in the box. Why you got to keep your shoes in your cum box? Took, took them out once, came on them, put them back. <laughs> they were white, though, so it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Wait, cum is supposed to be white? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh, I I'm always a little reluctant to dump the box with my new shoes for some reason for a while, like like I'm gonna mm-hmm. return them or something. I don't know. Right. But I wait for a little while. But I have certainly haven't considered coming into the box. No. So that seems. But I mean, again, the boxes I know like really really crazy expensive shoes will come in actually like a wood or like a plastic box. Mm-hmm. But most boxes, even super expensive like just cardboard. Jordans and Louis Vuittons, they're all cardboard. Yeah. So. Why would I mean, you come into a cardboard box? Yeah. D- isn't it going to soak through? I've had it for two or three years now, I think. So it has a fair amount of cum. <laughs> well, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it smells atrocious. And I tried to burn it once. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why would that be your move to destroy it? Like, Why I would burn you this save thing. it? Why would you save it? Well, that's number one. Why would you save it? Yeah. Because I guess there could be some laziness or like, well, every time I come, I have something to shoot it into. But why would you go, oh, man, this thing smells awful. You know, I'm just going to burn it. Like, why are you trying to, like, hide evidence by burning it? Just throw yeah. the thing in the fucking trash. I, I'd actually say put it on top of the trash so you can ruin somebody else's day when they <laughs> find your cum box. <laughs> this is what I would do to anybody who comes by my house and puts their dog shit bags in my trash can after the trash is gone out. You mean out. on I would the take- trash can? Well, on it or in it after it's been taken out. Oh, you mean if out. they throw trash away in a trash receptacle? No, I'm saying if they put their dog shit oh, not in, in my the bag. trash you can. You mean like raw dog poop? Like nope, just th- in the oh. bag, in my trash can, so it stinks the fuck out of my trash can, which goes in my garage, Neil. Oh, are you a garage tr- trash canner? Yes, I am a garage trash canner. Oh, that canner. is so cool. The I only- don't have an option for putting it outside because my house on both sides goes down. There's a slope, so it's going to be hard for me to put it there. No, I think that's great. I've only known like three or four people have done that. Two were FBI agents. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to put my cum box in your house. <laughs> no, I'm bummed that I wasn't your cum box. <laughs> <laughs> when I lit it on fire, it was too damp due to the cum that it simply sizzled and didn't manage to actually light up. Turns out burning cum smells awful. So I had to spray it with a deodorant body spray, which I can only assume is Axe body Axe, spray. Axe, sure. Just to get the old smell of burnt cum away. It also has some drenched paper stuck to it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> now, do you think this is legit, or do you think this guy is just messing? With- well, the next thing he says is, because people were asking, my greatest shame, and he links, and I am not going to click on this link. I don't want to see the cum box. Send it to me. I will. You want me to just right send now. it to you right now? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I got it. So I take it that this was a thread on Reddit? Yeah, this was on Reddit from six years ago. So so people gotcha. might have heard of this because it, it kind of exploded. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, is this it? Oh, it is. Oh, my God. I think it's a real jizz box. It's not bad. It just looks weird. So... <laughs> He's got he's got something going on, like he shoots it on the lid or something. <laughs> Let's it drip down. Yeah. So he, he goes through all this. He explains all this stuff. Then he's got these little edits that he chimes in with. He's like, edit. A lot of people are asking me, why? Well, I'm apparently a rather disturbed individual. <laughs> but it just kind of happened. Bought new shoes and needed some place to come. Use the box. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not rocket science. Problem solved. Needed some place to come. <laughs> Now, okay, now, so that doesn't seem weird to me. Like, if I got, like, when I finally bust out one of my new pairs of shoes, I'm going to get really excited, and I might go, all right, it's stroke time. Although I won't be able to do it in there because there's a camera, and then Annalise will see me. So, but let's say I just (laughs) was walking to the garbage can, and I'm like, huh, I'll just use, I'll just write on the box. I mean, actually, it seems like cool. Little cleanup, no big deal, but I'm not going to keep the box. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't keep, I, I never kept the socks, I never kept the towels, I never kept the tissues. Well, okay, first of all, you can wash the socks or the towels. Yeah. But when it comes to the box or anything, if you're looking for anything to shoot it into, Half the yeah, people you need don't to even keep their wives. I mean, come on, what are we doing? <laughs> Uh, he says, it just escalated from there. Kept using it each time, telling myself I'd throw it out soon. Never did. Two or three years later, I still haven't. So how old is this guy? It wasn't planned or anything. It just happened. Because, <laughs> I mean, if the box smells that bad and it's under his bed, either he lives at home or maybe he's maybe he's lives on his own. 
Well, I mean, he says he said he talks a little bit more about it in a second because he talks about how he's in an apartment. So he says, edit another edit. I often get PM'd about updates or current status of the box, generally a few a week. So I might as well update this post. If anyone gets linked here, if anyone gets linked here anymore, current status. I have created life. Mold has begun to grow in the box and has taken over a fair amount. Smells a bit worse, mainly due to a damper apartment, so it does not dry as fast, hence the reason why the mold has begun. And then he posts a new picture. Oh, God. <laughs> this is too funny. I will never be rid of my need for it. Whoa. Oh, I, yeah. I hate and love the box, just as I hate and love myself. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> I like this guy. He's, like, way into it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if he threw out the box, it would show back up? Like he'd go back oh, to his yeah. room and it'd be sitting there on the bed. <laughs> Have you watched any of uh, Big Mouth on Netflix? Uh oh. Okay. Well, when when you do, it'll be like the pillows. That's all I'll say, but it'll make okay. sense. Yeah. Gotcha. The pillows. Let me ask you this, Matt. Sure. When you were a, a when you don't have to answer for now because I know you don't really like to pretend like I don't do any of that stuff anymore. But when you were a, a younger man, younger boy, mm-hmm. were you a sock guy or tissue guy? Like toilet paper or sock guy? I or was towel always guy. More, of, more of a clothing item. Oh, just what's on the floor? Well, underwear, sock, whatever. Gotcha. Yeah. I didn't understand when I was <laughs> when I was really young, I didn't understand the sock thing. I thought you were supposed to put the sock over your dingus and then do While it. While you were doing it? Yes. Oh. But then like the sock itself is a little bit abrasive and it would hurt my little pee pee. And I'm like, this is not fun at all. <laughs> what are people doing? Uh, you needed a cum box. Yeah, I did. It would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of funny comments. So one is from Wanker's Remorse. And they ask, is it weird that I was expecting way more cum and now I'm a little disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> not strange at all, no, Wanker. No, But it's hard <laughs> to tell how much got absorbed and dried into the box. Clearly, clearly. Yeah. I mean, and, and those boxes, those shoe boxes are fairly thick cardboard. Like, yeah. they're not flimsy. So I could see where it would just dry and, you know, not go through. I think this I mean, guy pulled on a big prank on everybody just so we'd be talking cum box and think he's actually talking about a box when he was probably talking about his girlfriend. Well, it's funny you say that because oh. Mara Lolly says, my husband said, I'm glad you haven't found my cum box yet. Then I give him that look and he laughs and says, just kidding, honey, you're my cum box. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, trivia and wordplay adds, I just had to add, I just had to add more vomit to my vomit box. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I want Does this s- thing have its own like Twitter feed, the cum box? It, it should. should. I want I want somebody now to like uh, post on there like, oh yeah, I wanted to show a picture of my dog, CB, and everyone just go, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, I just picked up a few goats for the farm. Yeah, this, this is, is CB this and is, CB too. This is uh, replacing getting rickrolled. You're getting cum boxed. Right, getting cum boxed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he cum boxed me. Anyway, well, I have one more item if you'd like. Mm-hmm. This segment could be called Wisconsin Weekly, because last week we had a, a conversation about some parents of some youth wrestlers in Wisconsin who were talking mad shit to each other, and it escalated into a brawl, you know, parents mm. of the year. So the Tremper High School cheerleaders at the team's annual banquet were subjected to an award show that focused on appall- an appalling amount of attention on their individual physical proportions to the horror of several parents and assembled faculty of the school. You mean per like a, you mean like the 24 30, or 36 24 36 type of thing? Per a New York Times report, there was the Big Booby Award. What? This is in high school. No. The Big Booby Award for the girl with the biggest breasts. Oh. The coach giving the award according to several parents among the 100 people in attendance made a joke that the girl risked a concussion when she ran because of her enormous boobs. <laughs> oh <Wow>. man! <laughs> uh, how do you get up and like go to say that? And you're like, this is totally gonna land. This is gonna crash. Watch this. <laughs> I mean, I know I I sometimes am a little sensitive on the uh, f- from a maybe a I don't know what kind of perspective, but I can be a little sensitive on the other side. Of like, why does this even matter? Why does anyone care? If you like, mm. if you like girl with big boobs, you like girl with big boobs. If you mm-hmm. like a dude with big boobs, like a dude with big boobs, boobs schmoobs. It, but why like? The bigger the boobs, the looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, but I. But okay. So there's that. But let's say you're just. It's kind just of locker into room that. talk, Neil. It's just locker room talk. Okay, so this is where I'm going. 
<laughs> locker room talk, but at least it's girls, women that are adults and maybe have experienced life and, and aren't children. But then you're a, a coach or a teacher and you're looking at, even if they're 18, even if it's college, and you're sitting there going, let's rank them by their boob size? Yeah, not good. No. I No. So, by the way, there was also a big booty award. Was there a big dick award? <laughs> well. The Schlong Johnson Award? <laughs> I was going to say, this, this is similar to uh, the hockey awards that we do every season. We have one for biggest crank. Oh, you do? Which, which I've never won. <laughs> so do you guys like, how do you guys do that? You, you just, we just know from the locker room who's got the biggest crank. So they get the biggest crank award. I won't tell you what the trophy looks like. There's also one for biggest bush, which I've never lost. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> going to say. Do you guys have one for stinkiest cum box? Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, uh, you know, you, you, that's probably one place you could hide the cum box. And it wouldn't smell hockey as gear bad. Just yeah. fucking is rank. Anyway. Yeah. There is a big booty award for another girl. In a video from the event, the coach presenting the award said, we love her butt. Everybody loves her butt. <laughs> this, oh my God. was Is the coach male or female? I I was going to say, I can only hope they're women. The one uh, coach that they call out is a woman. And I assume okay. they all have to be women. Yeah. Because would, that would have been made even more of a big deal. Right. They also had a string, string bean award that went to a freshman who the coach, Patty Utick, said was so light and skinny. But mm. She's the string bean. She was a string bean, which finally that that you know what? You can get away with that one. If you don't have the other one. Well, no, but, but the big booty then, and the big even booby. then, even then you're like you're like saying, hey, look, you're you're even more different than everybody else. So we're gonna point it out. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. I'd like if they had like like the coaches are like, well, here's the tiny dick award <laughs> little kids right. up there. That wouldn't like, be oh. that wouldn't go over well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> weird. You throw those awards in the back of the closet. Yeah. Hey, why do you have all these tiny dick awards? Don't like, worry uh, about it. You don't even know. Or you could store them in your cum box, and that way nobody would ever see them. Yeah, but then they'd start to stink. You couldn't show them to your kids when you got older. It's true. That's a shame. That would be a shame. <laughs> so this happened in 2018, by the way. They just The story just came out, and the, the coach, Patty Utek, defended this by saying, quote, we understand that we are in a politically correct world these days, but... We do like to have fun and keep things in the lighter side. I am sick of all this PC crap, Neil. That's right. That God. is right. Can't say anything anymore. Because people of that age, <laughs> be it male or female, uh, you know, they are um their their minds have it have have evolved enough to know that if you are maybe a girl uh that doesn't have large boobs and didn't mm -hmm. win an award, that you're just as important as the girl. You're who's gonna on. be just fine. Yeah, you're okay. You you're not gonna feel different or weird. No, in my high school, yeah. we, the award was called the Boobs McGillicuddy Award. Nice. And it's the same deal. Yeah. Same deal. I mean, yeah. but I think they rated it off also on shape. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to stop doing this because it's gross. Right. <laughs> well, in my, my high school, it was nuts and butts. And it was like whoever could fit the most nuts in their butts. Oh. Uh, yeah. How many times you win? Oh, I'll, pff, dude, the, <laughs> it's named after me. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I have for this week. Oh, that is terrible. I don't want to end on that. We, we have to, we, I don't care if we talk about, uh, how your hockey game went this past week. <laughs> We're not ending on that. It's a sad note. Yeah. But I thought it was important to bring up. I think so. Thank you for listening to our show. You can find us at reasonsareserver.com. Remember to go check out our podcast store, don't go topless.store. There's rumors, or there are rumors, that there might be a new shirt this week, maybe? Oh. Casey? Maybe? We'll see. Uh, please go review the show on iTunes. Tell somebody about it. You know, all that kind of fun stuff. Go check out Neil on his other show, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, and his Halos and Heathens vlog, which is where our anniversary show will be hosted March our 3rd. Our nine-year, seven-month anniversary. Our 42nd anniversary nice. of podcasting. Nice. <laughs> we were podcasting for 25, 30, 30 years before it even became a medium. That's but, right. Uh, also, uh, you can tweet at us at ReasonsR and at AngelsFreak7. You can email us at ReasonsRSeveral at gmail.com. Get your shit into us. Before Sunday, put your shit deep inside us. Yeah, put your shit inside us. We welcome all comments to our come box. Yeah, just put it, put them all in the come box. We'll open up the come box, li come box live on air. We'll, on we'll air it out. We'll air it out. <laughs> air it all out. We'll get that Twinkie Stinky one way or the other. Ooh, okay. On that note, bye. <laughs>